Hey YouTube, I'm back with yet another product unboxing and review video. This time it's the Sony STR-DH590 AV receiver, uh, which I picked up um, during this Black Friday's sale uh, for about 250 bucks uh, from Best Buy. Um, this is a receiver that I needed to, you know, complete my home theater setup in my bedroom. Um, I picked up another television, which was a relatively cheap television, but it's a 65 inch from TCL uh, that I've already created a video on. Uh, so if you want to check it out, uh, please do that. And uh, I needed a receiver to kind of complete that setup. I already have uh, a 5.1 speaker system lying around, um, which is a Harman Kardon. And I wanted to pick up a relatively cheap receiver uh, to complete that, uh, that entire setup. And uh, this one seemed to fit the bill uh, for the price. Uh, so as I said, this normally would sell for about 350. I picked it up for about 250, 100 dollars off. This is a 5.2 channel, as you can see, um, but it also is a high-res audio and 4K HDR support on here. It uh, you know puts out 145 watts through the five speaker channels um, and uh, also supports four in and one arc HDMI out. Um, so that's obviously important. And then of course the Dolby Vision support, as well as uh, Bluetooth support for you know other devices. So for example, if you want to play music kind of coming from your phone, uh, you could pair it up this way, and uh, you could you know make take advantage of your speaker system uh, to play that music. It also has support for this thing called S Force Pro front surround, and what this is is really a technology created by Sony, which I believe is proprietary to Sony. Uh, that makes use of the two frontal speakers on your television, for example, and uh, create a surround sound effect out of that. I'm not sure, I've never really experienced this myself. Um, I'm not going to be actually be using it because I do have a 5.1 setup, but if you intend to use a 2.1 or a two channel setup, then um, this technology will help you get a better sound output, you know, more like a surround sound, at least that's what they say. Um, so that's the, that's the box on here. As you can see, there are other technologies that are baked in here. I'm not gonna read them all. It has support for, for all these technologies. And then on the rear end, you can see uh, what kind of support it has for uh, the various ports. But we'll take a detailed look once I open up the box. So now let's do that and check out the contents. Okay, so let, let's get this um, unboxing underway. Um, Sony sells this uh, device in three uh, versions. There's a DH5, I'm sorry, DH190, which I believe is the version with only support for a 2.1 setup. So, so if you have two speakers and uh, that's all you want the setup for, then you'll use the DH190. This is the 590, which is the 5.2 channel setup. And then if you intend to use the a 7.2 channel setup, then Sony does offer another um, version, which is the 790, DH790, which does support 7.2, if that's the setup you intend to use. Um, so let me take out the contents now. This is kind of heavy, and I will show you what is in here. Okay, so this is what comes out of the box. Obviously, you have the main unit itself. You have a pre-attached power cable to that main unit. Here is your product documentation and registration card. Uh, there is the remote and this little package that contains three items, basically. You have a couple of uh, AAA batteries from Sony. Uh, these are Sony branded. Uh, there is the FM uh, receiving wire, which is acting or will act as an antenna. And uh, this calibration tool, which we will take a look at um, as I take everything out of uh, these sleeves. Okay, so everything is out of the sleeve now. And uh, the first thing that I notice on the main unit itself is this little advisory note that talks about you checking your speaker's compatibility with this receiver system. Uh, so that's something out there. And then of course, uh, the rest of the equipment that we just talked about, as you can see here is the microphone that helps you to do the calibration. So we'll talk about that in a moment. Let's take a quick look at the front of this uh, unit itself. So on here, as you will notice, the first thing is uh, your main power button. Uh, so that allows you to switch on or off the device. Here are headphone jacks for if you want to consume your audio using the headphones, uh, which are not supplied by the way. And then here is the calibration mic input. So all you really do is uh, take your your um, 
your microphones for your calibration purposes, stick this in, and you'll notice that the uh, available cable here is fairly long. And so the idea is that you take this uh, microphone and put it where you are going to be seated in the room. So let's say you are, the, the receiver and the TV setup is on the one end of the, of the, the room on a, around a wall, and you are in the center of the room, then you're going to you know, put this in and then uh, extend this microphone all the way where you're seated. And it's gonna receive the audio from all five receivers around you, there your surround sound setup, and then calibrate this automatically for you uh, so that you get the best performance out of it. Um, honestly, I'm a little surprised that they gave us a microphone with auto calibration at this price point, but it's great to have if you're going to have a surround you know, setup. Um, here on the right side, you will notice that there are these couple of chunky dials. This one is your input selector. Obviously we have, uh, you know, the four HDMI inputs uh, or five of them actually, 4.1 setup. Uh, so that allows you to switch between them. Here's your main dial for your master volume control. And then out here, you'll also notice a few buttons uh, that are given to us for various things. So for example, the first one is this uh, thing called Pure Direct. And what this allows you to do is to receive um, the, the audio from all five speakers with high fidelity. And so it's going to be, you know, acting uh, in that way. And then of course you have uh, the Bluetooth setup. Uh, so you can, uh, if you hit this, you know, obviously whatever was the last device paired up, it's, it'll try to detect and then start uh, taking the music from your Bluetooth pair device. You have the dimmer and the display button uh, that allows you to, um, you know, either um, turn on the display on here. Um, so obviously you will, this is not connected uh, yet, but as I do that, you'll see that uh, you'll have a display out here. And then of course you can dim it in case you're in a darker setup and you don't want the, the lights of the display to be very bright. And then on the right, you'll see that there's a night mode. And what this night mode is allowing us to do is basically uh, get the volume or the audio from all five speakers at a lower volume uh, but still getting that surround sound uh, feel. And then you have the music and movie, um, you know, preset. You have the two channel preset. You have tuning um, plus and minus for purposes of your FM uh, uh, receiver. Uh, and then you have the tuning mode uh, to switch uh, between tuning modes. And then you have the speakers uh, to turn on and off. Uh, so that's basically what you see in the front. Now let's take a quick look, um, but before we do that, you know, also I wanted to point out that many of the buttons that you see in the front are also available on your remote. Um, you know, so particularly the ones like Pure Direct, Front, uh, Surround, Night Mode, Dimmer, Display, all of this stuff is right here and available to you on the remote as well. Uh, so that's the front setup. Now let's take a quick look at the rear where all the action is. Okay. so. On the rear of this this receiver, um, the first thing that I notice is that given us they have given us a, a USB device. power supply. Uh, so in case you want to power up some device uh, using uh, this power supply output, this is an output only, by the way, uh, to power anything. Uh, so that's out here. You have the four HDMI inputs. Uh, so you have the media box. You can hook up a DVD player. Um, you know, obviously your your satellite or cable TV uh, setup. Uh, if you have a gaming console, you could set this up here and uh, you have a TV out uh, arc. Uh, and this is a bi-directional, um, you know, HDMI uh, output. So it can not only receive signals, but also send signals through the same cable. So that's what an arc is gonna do for you. You also have the coaxial setup and optical uh, setups in case you have an optical device setup you wanna do. I've already used the supplied antenna here uh, with the antenna uh, setup. And of course you have these uh, analog audio in uh, ports as well uh, for various purposes in case you intend to use any of it, including for, for the television. Uh, but I think most people are going to be using the HDMIs instead of uh, you know something like this, which is more legacy. On the sounds uh, you know, part of it, you have uh, a couple of your subwoofer uh, outputs, and uh, this is why they call it a 5.2 setup. Uh, most people, I believe, will have a single subwoofer, uh, so you'll just need, you'll just need one of these. But if you intend to use a dual subwoofer setup, you the the, the receiver will support it. So you have uh, these two outputs for that. 
then you have the front channels um, and the, you know obviously there's the right and left um, you could have a banana clip set up or if you want to directly use your um, speaker wires um, inserted right here you could do it that way too um, but for your center channel and your surround channel there is no banana plug capability uh, which is a bit of a bummer uh, but that's what the Sony has given us. So you just take your, your wires and, um, you know, pull this up out here and, um, you know, stick in the wire right here and then you just leave it and it's going to catch hold of it. So it's pretty simple. Does the, you know, gets the job done, uh, but I would have preferred banana clips here as well. But maybe at this price point, they don't offer that. And that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to speak in the rear end of things. Um, but, um, you know, at this price point, I, I think uh, this gives you a, a pretty good uh, setup, you know, for what you would typically need. So on the remote, you'll notice that uh, most of the functionality that is available both in the front and the rear of this receiver is available on the remote itself. So, you know, for example, uh, you have the main HDMI uh, inputs available to you, whether it's the media, the, the satellite or the game. And you'll notice that uh, that's how this is uh, uh, shown as well on the remote. So this is obviously corresponding to the various inputs, you know, out here, uh, the white buttons. And then some of the other black little buttons down here, for example, PO Direct, Front Surround, Night Mode, Dimmer, that we talked about uh, corresponds to the buttons that you saw in the front of the unit. Uh, so. The rest of the buttons are fairly intuitive. Uh, so you get a home button, a mute button, volume control, obviously, stuff like that. And, um, you know, you can use this remote. So I think uh, the remote gives you pretty much all the functionality that you will need um, and not having to go to the receiver itself, which is great. Um, so that's uh, the remote. Um, okay, so what are my final impressions about this device? I think if you are someone who is on a budget and does not want to spend a ton of money, like I didn't want to spend a ton of money, um, I got this unit for about 250 even though the normal retail price is around 350 and, and depending on where you get it and in what time of the year you get it, you might uh, be in that price point. Um, but if you are on a budget, like I said, and but yet you want a device that is uh, a good performing device. Uh, has a good track record and uh, but is at the same time a simple uncluttered uh, you know uh, experience you don't want a ton of functionality but you want all your basics um, then I think this device will uh, check most people's box um, and I think uh, for this price point and what it offers uh, it's a great device uh, the, the product was initially launched by Sony in early 2018 uh, and it has still not been discontinued or anything, you know, it's been continued to be sold in the market. Obviously, there is a bit of a fan following for this model. Um, like I stated earlier, it comes in multiple versions, depending on how many channels you want to support. Um, but for this 5.2 setup, I think uh, this is a great, um, you know, device for that price point. Um, obviously, uh, this is an entry level unit. Uh, if you are a you know, an enthusiast who who has a little bit more money to spend on a receiver. There are better receivers out there. Even with Sony, um, you can buy higher end receivers. But like I said, if you are on a budget, I think this is a pretty good uh, purchase. So hopefully you like this content. If you did enjoy this content, please uh, like the, the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.